Hey guys, Alex here with my uh, Dragon Gate USA Freedom Fight 2011 re review. Uh, this was a really good show, and let's just get into it right now with the first match, which is BJ Whitmer versus Brody Lee. Um, this match was pretty good. A um, few nice spots, uh, like they brawled on the outside a lot. Um, they both look pretty, like they're both working pretty stiff. Um, there wasn't much there, you know, it was pretty short, like I think maybe under 10 minutes. Um, so for what was there, it was good, but. You know, not really the greatest match, but it was decent. Uh, next match, we had The Scene versus John Silver and Yuha Nation. This is a good tag match. I liked it a lot. Um, Nation didn't really do much. He kind of uh, just, like, came in to make made the hot tags and didn't came in and did a few spots. Um, did a shooting star press, or standing shooting star press, which was really impressive. Uh, really looked good here. You know, he's basically just, you know, the muscle and basically came in, cleared house, tagged in John Silver, who went back to work. Um, but it was pretty good. Um, I like I like the the scene was pretty good. You know they just basically worked got heat over on the most of the time, but it was all right. Um, next match was Chuck Taylor versus Rick Swan or Chuck Taylor and Rick Swan versus BB Hawk and Akira Tozawa. This is a really great tag team match. I really like this match. Um, they had a few comedy spots in there, especially this like with Chuck Taylor just like getting chased out of the ring by Tozawa and, and Hawk. Um, like, and there's one part, like, where everyone did, like, a back right to each other, like, including, like, Chuck Taylor doing a back right to the ref, which was kind of funny. And so it had a few nice, uh, kind of funny spots there, I thought. Um, a lot of good near falls near the end, and, uh, just a whole lot of fun to watch. Like, they really worked well together. Rick Swan got put over pretty nicely, just, like, getting his ass, you know, really taking a pump beating and actually getting the pinfall at the end over, uh, Tozawa. So, that was pretty cool. Really good match, though. I really enjoyed it. And then uh, that the after the match, Blood Warriors came out, uh, beat down on them, and then uh, that led to Shima versus Masato Yoshino. This was really great too. A lot of good back and forth action. They really played up the whole um, the whole storyline of like them having a fuse in the past and basically like being very well well knowledgeable on each other. So they were doing a lot of counters, um, which was really cool, especially near the end. Like the finishing sequence was really great. They really did a lot of good counters and a lot of good action. Um, great technical wrestling too, and just these two guys really shined here. I, like I got said, the finishing thing was very, very good. I loved it a lot. I thought it was very well done, and like really well. It, it just played the whole story. Um, this match was just as good as the match before. I thought. Then we had Ricochet versus Pac. This was great um, too. Like this one was actually like I expected a lot of high flying, which there was. There was a lot of good spots. Um, one part I really like was like where they're like they went to the crowd and like Ricochet did a ran up upon the railing, did a herk around and then like threw him back in the ring and like jumped over the crowd into back into the ringside. It was pretty cool. And at one point Ricoch or Pac did a uh, reverse Frankenstein on the mats to Ricochet and like he dropped him right in his head. So that was really, like they also had a lot of great wrestling moves here. Like really told a great story. Um, kudos to both guys for one thing though is like they took a shitload of drops in their head and like kicks to the head and stuff and like I'm I would not be surprised if like they both had a concussion or some kind of you know head injury or whatever or something because like they got dropped in their head a lot especially Pac like near the end he got dropped in his head like three times in a row so really good match though these two guys work very well together then we had the uh, basically the match I was looking forward to the most which was the, the open the freedom game championship match with your motto defending against Johnny Gargano this was awesome technical wrestling match. Really great stuff between both guys. Really consistent throughout the entire match. Told a great story about, like, just Johnny Gargano, you know, proving just how tough he is and proving how much he's improved over the years. And just, you know, really standing up to Yamato. Um, the finishing sequence was really cool. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the interference, which would uh, Chuck Taylor ran in, tried to help Johnny Gargano end up hitting you know, hitting him with the belt. Um, I understand why they put it in there just to, you know, show, like, you know, the Johnny Gargano is so tough and he kicked out, blah, blah, blah. But I, I just, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I didn't think it hurt it at all. So you, people can have their opinion on that, but uh, I thought it was just a little unnecessary, maybe. But, um, but like I said, the finish was cool. I liked it a lot. It really, you know, just really put over Johnny Gargano very well. Um, the promo at the end was pretty cool just because it, it helped put over the entire group of Ronin and, like, basically... Acknowledge the fact that they're now like two, like some of the best guys in Dragon Gate USA, and you know, good for Johnny Gargano. Very happy about him um, winning this title. 
very surprised when I heard him winning because I, I, you know, I don't really pay attention to Great Dragon Gate USA. I know him from Shakar, so I was like, wow, you know. So I started paying attention to Dragon Gate USA more because of Johnny Gargano winning this title. So there you go. Um, let me just add to it for now. This should have been the main event. I mean, this match was just so damn good, so goddamn good, and it was a. It, you had a an American winning the Dragon Gate USA title, which is which was the first, even though there's only been three champions, including Johnny. It's still a big moment, and it just would have been so much better if this was the main event, and this is how you ended the show. But instead, we got the Extreme Warfare match with A.R. Fox, John Davis, and Sabu versus the D.U.F., Sammy Callan, Eric Cannon, and Pinky Sanchez. This was a pretty good hardcore match. I think it was better live, though, just because the cameras missed a lot of stuff. Like, all the stuff that was going on between John Davis and Pinky Sanchez, you didn't see. Like, that was not shown. You saw a lot of Sabu and... Uh, Eric Cannon going at it. You saw a lot of Sammy Callahan and A.R. Fox going at it. Um, A.R. Fox is fucking insane. Um, at one point, he took, like, a backdrop onto the guardrail, which, like, he barely hit, and, like, he landed on his head. And then he, inside the ring, he's getting his ass kicked by um, Sammy Callahan, still wrestling a very good match. And then he takes a power bomb to the outside onto the guardrail again, and, like, it, it bends the thing in half almost, and just, like, holy shit. Then he gets back in the ring, start, takes, like, jabs with a, with a fork, and then gets a beer bottle busted over his head. So, this match has basically made AR Fox look like a badass, and, you know, really co cool for that. But, um, other than that, you know, basic brawl, hardcore spots here and there. Nothing really spectacular, you know. And, like I said, it, it was probably better live just because you probably saw everything. But, um, for the, sh the show, you know, the camera missed some of the action, which really sucked. But, can't knock him for that. Um, still, this whole show, though, I'd definitely give it like an 8.25. A really great show. If you're, you know, a fan of Dragon Gate USA, you probably have seen the show already. I, would I recommend watching it? Absolutely. You know, you got four great matches in a row. You got Chuck Taylor and Rick Swan versus BB Hawk and Akira Dazawa, uh, Shima versus Masato Yoshino, Pac versus Ricochet, and the Johnny Gargano versus Yamato match. Those four matches alone would rec make me recommend watching the show, if not going on and buying it if you're a huge Dragon Gate fan. But that's it for me. Take care. Bye.